Hello, let's work the first problem from projectoiler.net. Take a look at this. Leonard Euler was a Swiss mathematician and various other things, physicist, astronomer. And these are challenging math computer programming problems. Here's the first one. Find the sum of all the multiples of 3 or 5 below 1,000. Let's do that a couple different ways in Python and Scala. Let's start with Python. One approach is to create a variable that we'll use to accumulate the sum. I'll call it total. I'll set it to 0. And then we loop. We can loop like for n in range 1 comma 1,000. And uh, remember about range that this second number is one higher than the highest one you want to get. So the problem says below 1,000. So 999 is the highest number we want to consider. And then here, just to start simply, I will do this, total plus equal n. And what this will do is sum all the numbers from 1 to 999. And, okay, I didn't print the right thing. I printed N instead of total. Here we get 499500. Now the next step is to only include those numbers that are multiples of 3 or 5. How do we do that? Well, there's a remainder operator in Python and other languages too that we can use. We can say if the remainder of dividing N by 3 is 0, in other words, it's divisible by 3. In other words, it's a multiple of 3. Then we'll include it. So now this should produce the sum of the integers from 1 to 999 that are multiples of 3. Let's run this. So there we get a smaller number because we're including fewer numbers. Then to include those numbers that are multiples of 5, we just add this and say or. The remainder of n divided by 5 is 0. And this should give us the answer. And here's the answer. Okay, this is fine, and this is kind of a traditional way of programming, uh, like a procedural way. You have step-by-step, step, you create something in a loop, you add to the thing. There's a shorter way, using a generator. Uh, one way to make a generator is just to enclose something in parentheses like uh, this. This generator will give us those numbers, 1 through 999. Um, generators can have a condition, so I can say this. Now the generator will give us only those numbers from 1 to 999 that are multiples of 3 or 5. Python has a built-in function called sum. Some will use the generator to get all those numbers and sum them. Then we can print the result of that. Okay, and I forgot one little thing, which is this. If you're interested in generators, look them up. They're very powerful. Let me run this, and we got the same result. So you might find this easier to read. Many people would prefer this. Uh, if you get used to this style of programming, you might prefer this. Let's look at the same thing now in Scala. Here is a framework for a simple Scala program. You need to have something, uh, unlike Python, where you just you can write one line, print hello world, um, in other languages. C, C++, Java, Scala, you need some framework code here, and that's what this is. Um, let's implement this first approach. So we had a variable called total, we set it to zero, and then we made a loop. So here we can say one until 1,000. There's a one to 1,000, which would include the 1,000, the 1,000, but if you say one until 1,000, it just goes one to 999. 
And then here we can say um, for each n, add it to the total. And then here, print line total. Let's see what we get here. That's the sums of 1 through 999. Then we could add the if here. So we say if n is, you see we have the same percent operator here. If the remainder of n divided by 3 is 0, the or is a little different. In Python, it's the word or. Here in Scala, Java, C, C++, it's two vertical bars. Now we'll only include those. Okay, here we have the result that we know from before is right. Here's another approach. We'll use the one until a thousand. But this time we'll use filter. Okay, so that produces those filtered numbers. And then we want to take that and sum it. And then we want to print the result. And what do we get? That works. So this generates the numbers 1 through 999, and then we filter those numbers to include only those um, that are multiples of 3 or 5. And then we sum all that, and then we print the sum. Um, if we wanted to, we could break this into, into parts. We could take this part out and call this the numbers, or filtered numbers. And then print the sum of the filtered numbers. We could even print the filtered numbers if you wanted to see them. Here are all the filtered numbers. These are all those multiples. Uh, and then finally the sum. We'll make it a little bigger here. And I can take this out just to give us a little bit more room. Uh, there you go. That is two different solutions in Python and Scala each for the Project Euler Problem 1.